Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for June 6, 2019. And in this update, I'm going to show you 10 VHS tapes, 1 DVD, and 5 Blu-rays, which I've received the VHSs from eBay and Amazon over the past week. And on Saturday, I received a DVD from eBay, and on Sunday... I got five Blu-rays at Walmart, and I've received almost all the VHSs that I ordered last week from both eBay and Amazon, although there is still one more VHS that I ordered last week that still has yet to come in, and I did say on my community tab post I think USPS lost it, but when I retract it today, it said it was in Philadelphia, so I think it might come either tomorrow or Saturday, so that will hopefully be shown in the next update which I'm going to do when I also receive the two VHSs and Blu-ray that I ordered from eBay this week. And there's also that one Blu-ray I pre-ordered on Amazon last week, which it did come out on Tuesday, June 4th. And on Amazon it says it should come by June 18th, so it's going to take a little while for me to get it. But when it does come, I'll start another update. But let's not waste any more time, because I've already wasted a minute and a half of the video. So let's start the update. Starting off with the VHS tapes, and we're gonna start with the one clamshell at the show, which this is the one that came in from eBay today. I've been wanting to get this one for quite a while, and now I finally have it. April 9th, 1994. The next three VHSs are all the ones I got from Amazon. Which, um, two of them I got on Saturday, and one of them came in on Monday. Here's one of the ones that came on Saturday. This is the last regular Jimmy Neutron VHS ever released. I know there also is an extremely rare 2006 VHS of Jimmy Timmy Power Hour 2, which that one is very hard to find, but who knows, maybe one of those one of these days I'll come across it. We'll see. This is a former rental from Triggs in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. And part of this sticker was covering up the weekend year code, but I was able to peel off some of it to reveal what it is. The 42nd week of 2004. This next one came in from Amazon on Monday. And I now have all the actual Jimmy Neutron VHS tapes, excluding Jimmy Timmy Power Hour 1 and 2, which I do hope to find those on VHS someday. The 17th week of 2003. Here's the other VHS that came in from Amazon on Saturday. This is a pretty rare tape. Former rental from Video Horizons in Astoria, Oregon. And I did peel back the um, part of the sticker on this to reveal the weekend year code. Let's see if I can show it to you guys on camera. Hold on. Yeah, it was printed on the 21st week of 2005. Now this next one I won on eBay, it's a bid auction, and it came in on Monday. Yep, this is a rare full-length screening copy. 
and rest in peace Prince, who passed away in 2016. For some odd reason, there is no label on this tape, but it is still the correct tape because it does say the title of the movie right there. Two print dates, January 14th, 1991 and February 5th, 1991. And the next three were brand new sealed and they were together in a three tape set and they came in from eBay on Monday. September 3rd, 1999. Same part date again, September 3rd, 1999. I also have volumes 1 through 9 of South Park on VHS as well. September 2nd, 1999. And this next one came from eBay last Friday, May 31st. This is originally a 1985 VHS, but however, on the sticker label, it uses a copyright date from 1987, so this is clearly a reprint. This has a print date and a week in year code. May 10th, 1989, and printed in the 20th week of 1989. And because it has this kind of print date, we all know what this tape will add at the end. And the last VHS I have to show for this update is another tape I got from eBay on Monday. Now I was supposed to get the 1998 Lyric Studios copy of this. And that was the copy that was pictured in the eBay listing. But however, take a look at this. I actually ended up getting the Word Entertainment copy instead. But it is still the correct video, so I'm fine with it. And it still uses the 1994 copyright on the label, and it's got the older VeggieTales logo. And there's no print date. And that's all the VHS tapes for this update. Now for the only DVD, which I ordered from eBay back on May 21st. And it finally shipped out on May 28th, which was the day after my birthday. And it came in on Saturday, June 1st. And this movie is pretty hard to find. I know Andrew Toon also has this DVD as well, but his copy is a mid-2000s reprint. But my copy is indeed the original 2000 DVD. From the director of The Sixth Sense, that being none other than M. Night Shyamalan. It's got a clear disc and you can see me in the iPhone and in the reflection. And finally, the five Blu-rays that I got at Walmart on Sunday, June 2nd. And three of these are movies I saw in theaters. This first one being one of them. Which I saw this in theaters on February 26th of this year. And this was a good movie.
This is an MGM movie, but the Blu-ray was distributed by Universal. And if anyone wants any of the digital codes I'm going to show in this video, you already know what to do. This one I saw in theaters on Saturday, March 2nd this year. And also the first How to Train Your Dragon on DVD and How to Train Your Dragon 2 on Blu-ray. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is my first DreamWorks animation film distributed by Universal. When I got this one, I wasn't sure if it was going to have the DVD inside or not, but surely enough it does. And here's the last movie in the update that I saw in theaters. This one I saw in theaters on January 14th of this year, and this was a good movie. And I also have the French movie The Untouchables on Blu-ray which is the French movie that was the inspiration for this movie, which I still have yet to give that a watch, but I'll have to watch that sometime and then watch this again. And now here's the last Blu-ray for the update, which this is a two movie set. I also had the, the third Wolverine movie, Logan on Blu-ray, which I saw that in theaters in 2017, and that was an awesome movie. But I have not seen X-Men Origins Wolverine or The Wolverine yet. So I'm gonna have to give these a watch sometime and then I'm gonna have to watch my Blu-ray copy of Logan. And when I got this, it did come with a Fandango code to get a ticket to see Dark Phoenix, which is the new X-Men movie premiering in theaters tonight. Which I'm actually not going to be seeing that in theaters because it got very negative reviews from critics. But maybe when the Blu-ray comes out, maybe I'll give it a chance. We'll see. I'll decide for sure. Here's the disc for X-Men Origins Wolverine, which is still from 2009. And The Wolverine, which is still from 2013. And this two movie collection sets from 2016. And both these codes expire on January 10th, 2020. And that's going to do it for my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for June 6, 2019. Hope you all enjoyed, and when I receive my remaining VHS tapes and Blu-ray from eBay, I'll do an, another update video, which hopefully that will be sometime next week. Anyways, this is Brandon's Movie Corner signing off.